Okay, so till now we have discussed how to use the action and go to table to perform bottom up parsing. Okay, so today we will discuss how we create this action and go to table. Okay, now this action and go to tables uh, are combinedly called as LR parser table and and the LR parser table is created from a deterministic finite automata. Okay. I will tell what exactly each state of this DFA stands for. Okay. Before that, let me introduce the concept of what is called as a item. LR item. Okay. So an LR item is nothing but a modified version of a production of the grammar okay such that we introduce an extra symbol called as a demarcator okay that demarcator I may denote it as by dot simple dot or maybe at the rate anything okay or at a, at a simple bar so for example if I have a production in the grammar that is a as x y and z then what will be my possible lr items with respect to this rule they are a as dot x y z okay it can be a as x dot y z it can be a as x y dot z or it can be a as x y z dot okay so so basically this uh, just a second so basically this uh, lr items what are they uh, means what they are defining or telling us they are telling us that uh, they are basically denoting the current state of a parser with respect to a particular production. Understand? So, so let me write it down. So suppose, suppose A as, suppose I have an LR item like X, Y, Z. So what does this implies? This implies the, with respect to this rule, just a minute let me write it in a uh, more comprehensive way so this implies with respect to the ever production parsing action has not yet started and we are hoping and it is expected that derivation of the input string will take place by replacing by reducing or you can say by uh, by using the rule RSS of the rule X, Y, Z. Understood? So if the dot is at the initial position, that means we have we have not yet started the parsing and we are ex we are expecting to parse the given input string with this uh, production. Okay. Now suppose I have A as X dot Y, Z. What does this mean? This means This means that I have already done some of the parsing, okay. This means already we have processed the input string by uh, using derivation with respect to x and we are hoping the 
we are hoping that the subsequent subsequent parsing will be done by deriving with grammar symbols yz okay what does this mean that means the parser is in is in a state where it has already done derivation with respect to x okay and it is hoping that the subsequent input strings will be derived from this uh, y and z okay now suppose i have a as x y z dot what does this mean that means the entire input string has been processed by using the derivation from x y z and it is going to accept the input string because it has nothing more to parse okay so this is the notion of a lr item okay lr item is nothing but a, a production modified version of a production having a demarcator like dot or at the rate or simple bar okay and that and and a lr item just tells me the current state of a parser with respect to a given production okay now with that let let me define some properties some action with respect to a lr item so so that property is called closure of i closer of i okay let me write it in a type tile let me type it so if i is a set of lr items then closer of i is another set of lr items okay this is my claim first definition and second is if this closer of i is created by following certain rules okay what is the what are those rules first rule is every item of i will be present in closer of i okay second is second is suppose i have a grammar production suppose i have an item in the form of a as let me write it uh, through a pen so second is suppose i have a production a as alpha b beta okay which is and it is alpha dot b beta okay it is a item okay suppose this item belongs to closer of i okay and suppose i have a production in the grammar that is b is equal to gamma then this implies b is equal to dot gamma will also belong to closer of i understood so 